I get why, but they... Uh, no. The unfortunate part is that there are not a whole lot of uh, Villager and uh, Isabel players yeah. that can uh, prove differently, so, you know. But, you know, actually, I run into Isabel a lot. I, I, I fight Villager and Isabel a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I just figured that was just, they're just popular characters, but I, I, I guess not. Mm. I guess not. Or at least for Lux. Not for me, at least. <laughs> you know, I, well, I guess I played a Villager uh, yesterday at Tipsy Tuesday, so I can't, uh, can't go too crazy on that. But all right, we got Tempo versus Ant. As you are saying, Ant the Villager. Tempo, uh, commentary mainstay now, kind of coming up through the ranks. And he's getting carried off stage, but he is the little mech, and he does not want to be there for sure. Uh, yeah, I remember talking to Tempo about the, his character. Now I get to see him. I get to see him in his prime. Yeah, it's probably going to be a frustrating matchup for a Little Mac in general just because of the way that, you know, a Villager can play off stage. Just that last three seconds right. showed me everything I needed to see. <laughs> he didn't die, but that just looked really uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, he goes right through it and <gasps> you're reading oh. it out. That was a really good cross-up from Ant as well. It's, uh, it's quite lucky that Tempo didn't punish him. And right now he's got KO Punch, but that's the difficult part. Villager has so many straight things that he can hit with that can have the knockdown effect that'll take out the KO punch. I probably have to go for a raw one. Oh, I would've just gone for it right there. Yeah, I love his usages of uh, the oh, balloons he's there. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's super dead. Yeah, no, it looks like uh, Ant uh, has got it on lockdown. Like, he, the, the way that he was recovering showed me a lot right there. He's being very patient. Yeah, this matchup looks not fun. No, it, it doesn't. And he's getting back aired, and he's just gonna side special back and oh. do everything he can to keep his feet on the ground, but it's a little oh, difficult when your opponent can just kind of float around and do whatever they want. And, and that's another thing, too, is like a uh, villager actually has a way of stalling himself in the air with that side B like that. So it's just like, uh, he's so he's so ambiguous in the air. Look at that grab. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, I think one of the things of our tempo I just consider is, uh, you know, you don't have to play at the edge if you don't want to. I mean, I know that villager is going to sit there and throw out pellets at you. But you can always just walk away, take a bite out of the apple, and just say, you know, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, it's very true because, like, wait. <laughs> Little Mac can kill you very freaking early. So it's just like, hey, I don't have to be too uh, zealous here. Right. And then when you're playing grounded, it's like at, in neutral. If uh, Little oh. Mac can, oh, no, he got hit by the tree. He thought he could run past it in time. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Okay, punch that tree out. Okay, there we go. Okay, might even get a little item for his trouble or just throw it at his feet and then start getting bodied. Yeah, that happens sometimes as well. Yeah, he missed the tech, getting the jam walks, and uh, er everything going Ant's way so far. Oh, oh, oh okay. We, uh, maybe not. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was, you know, you don't see that very often. Villager known for having a recovery that can pretty much recover from anywhere as long as the balloons don't get popped and I just died. I just don't know what I saw there. Maybe buffered an air dodge on accident. Maybe. That's, that's typically, you know, anytime someone SDs, I always just think, yeah, they buffered an air dodge off stage. That's typically what happens. Floaties, when they when they uh, air dodge off stage, it seems like it just takes forever <laughs> yeah, for them to get back. Yeah, like the full song going like, mm, what you say mm. as they die. <laughs> <laughs> the black and white. Right. I'm down. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh. Yeah, he came out swinging. Got a, stole a victory. It was not looking very good at the First stock, but Tempo I'm gonna pulling it out. I mean, that, that SD did not help anyone except for Tempo. Mm -hmm. so yeah, oh yeah, that yeah, SD would play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah, was unfortunate because I was like, wait, that game was short. Yeah. That game was short. Again, we, we have not seen a game three yet. People are just steamrolling each other. We haven't seen a game three at all today. Yeah, and uh, Javi, uh, we got some production going on right now. Uh, so we got a close up here looking at Ant, getting some coaching from the crowd. DQ. He's got a whole crowd. He's got he's got like three people on the yeah, side. The like, problem is none of his coaches can see the screen, so he's yeah, in a little bit of trouble. That seems a little uh, <laughs> a little suspect on coaching, a but little it's all counterproductive, good. I'd say. <laughs> Tell him like you know those uh, those those uh, platitudes of coaching. I Do that thing I taught you. <laughs> take I, your stock before they take yours. The thing I would say right now is don't SD. Mm -hmm. Don't SD. And oh, we got some super customization counter picks going on. Okay. He's changing the music up, like the levels, the sound effects. He wants all the voices. To, oh, here we go. Sound effects are up. Th voices are up. Thank you, guys, for you're doing the needful. Oh, I wonder if that's where the stream they're saying like something's wrong. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all right, so we're doing a sound check. It's very important. You know, you got to have optimal playing conditions when you're playing the game of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, there's Javi. Hey, Javi's on screen. I think that a profile picture right there just uh, like. You know, one quarter of his face. He's laughing. He's feeling, all right, there you go, Javi. Let's go. And uh, maybe 70s. Oh, they got more trouble going, too. I've been all about that base. No trouble. 
Are you bringing booty back, though? All the time, dude. Have you seen my shape? <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> Every day. Air day. Where are we going to go now? All right, after that brief intermission uh, and uh, bringing, uh, bringing back the base. Yo, Huffy's computer is tight. I love your, <laughs> I, I love, I love your keyboard. It glows. He's been having that keyboard since, like, for weeks, Huffy, months, Huffy years. Huffy just looked at me like, well, dude, what up, are you dude. talking about? <laughs> no, every time he clicks, <laughs> well, we gotta wait it. until you get uh, get the muting going on. Yeah, I, I noticed that too, like earlier. I, I, I gotta, I gotta show the world. Yeah, for this, sure. This 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 keyboard is so great. We need a hobby cam, man. That's just gonna take the stream. We do need a hobby level. cam. All right, we're going Oh, and Isabel's coming out now. Remember that thing you were talking about? How they are so different and they should not be considered in the same range. And I still don't. I still you know, don't. Uh, oh, okay, maybe it's Villager now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's about to be like, "Yo, I was about to be put on blast." <laughs> All right, game two opening up. Tempo, of course, stealing that first game with uh, unfortunate SD from Ant. Can't always count on that when you're playing and making your game plan. So. Oh yeah, he'll SD right here. Yeah. I know it. <laughs> Oh, nice. Uh, I like that wave land back onto the stage there. That was really sweet. Kind of risky, but it worked. It worked. He's kind of a small body, so you can't get away with certain things. Hey. And I wonder why he picked uh, Smashville. Maybe smaller stage so every engagement is near the ledge? I suppose so. Um, I thought for sure he was going to bring it to FD. Uh -huh. Like, I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, but but all things considered. Oh, no. Uh -oh. I guess it goes into that theory that we we're talking about, you know, like. Oh, there's a KO punch. Oh, though. he Speaking got like the threshold. He got wow, he barely hit him with that. That was that was kind of nice. Yeah, down tilt's guaranteed. I'm telling you. That's why I was so surprised when that one didn't work earlier. Yeah, uh, the fact that down tilt wasn't guaranteed at the beginning of this game, like, yeah. uh, man, Little Max lost a lot of good stuff. Yeah, so th so far everything going tempo's way, just really keeping the beat of the match uh, in his favor. Mm. You know, marching to the tune of his own drum, if you will, keeping a nice little tempo. Let's see. Oh boy, for a headshot. Yeah, oh. good recovery as him off stage. Now that's the hard part is the percentage climb. You know, you want to do your best to control the stage, but as it is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, when your percents are higher, you get knocked back further, and all of a sudden holding on to the stage gets a little bit harder. Is that how that works? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. You I must recover, I think was the next line in the tutorial. Huh. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. Yeah. I, I, I think you're just a crazy person on a microphone. Yes. But, I, I, you know, I could be a crazy person. Oh, man. He didn't go for the wow, shield the break shield. there. I was scared. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think it's looking really good for Tempo if he can just pick up this stock. Because he's almost charging that KO punch. If he gets a kill pretty soon here. <laughs> you see how he spazzed out yeah. the balloon? Oh, my God. You can always pop one of them. It's the second one that's the trick. Yeah, it's true. Unless you're, like... Link. All right, KO punches online, but I think he's at the percent where it's not really going to be too beneficial because there's probably – it'd be very surprising if, yeah, as I say, if uh, Tempo oh, doesn't there get hit we by go. a stray hit. The great equalizer that is the forward smash from Villager. Yo, bowling ball action, gets a strike, and See, Isabel can't do that. Even. Isabel can't do that. She's got a strong forward smash, but it doesn't work like that. Right. Yeah, bowling balls hit a little bit harder than like whatever the uh, party uh, party favors are. Oh yeah, the little <laughs> popper. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit for sure. I thought that Lloyd was gonna connect. Ooh, nice uh, wall jump though. I, I don't see a lot of people using wall jump. Uh, I think they should. Villagers use it a lot just so it can mix up between the forward air and the back air. Yep. Uh, you know, and it, it creates a different sp uh, spacing orientation uh, when some, they're recovering from the ledge. Some characters are able to make use of that. Right. Oh, you know, but for me as a uh, non-villager aficionado, I just see a slingshot no matter what it is. So. Yeah, <laughs> like I just need to avoid that at right. all costs. KO punches online, buddy's off stage. Oh man, that, that that was so close. That was a really overzealous forward right. smash, if you ask me, man. No, uh, I respect the attempt. He almost got it. Oh my god, he just runs in and KO punches tempo, yeah. clutching it out. That's okay. I mean, like. I think Ant just had like a rough set that time. Yeah, you know, because um, he was doing the work. It's just sometimes you don't get the reward when you do the.